for sure. Yes, I'm moving for Herschel Tosin to become a member of the South Cobb Redevelopment Authority. He is a business owner in this area and also has worked as a contract manager for um, the government in, in Illinois, and I think is gonna make a fine addition to the board. So with that, I move to appoint Herschel Tosin to the South Cobb Redevelopment Authority. Is there a second? Is there a second by Commissioner Rod? Comment, Mr. Rod? Yes, um, as I previously stated, I, it is my firm belief that um, the four commission positions need to be delineated as to exactly what role they are to serve and where they're to come from. So as with the first agenda, even though this is recommended by the district commission, I believe that this needs to be held for the same reasons. Thank you. Any other comments? Yes, sir. Commissioner Weatherford. I believe uh, Commissioner Cupid and I have read some of her uh, correspondence, although we haven't discussed it personally, that she has several other uh, possible candidates that she would like to recommend. Uh, I think that since we have one left, uh, I think it would be best to table this until January when we can discuss all of her uh, particular options and discuss those and try to fill this last position with the proper people uh, and do that as a board, and I think that might be a better way to do that. We have a motion on the table to approve the recommendation and a second. Is there any other comments? I'd like... I'm Can sorry. I'd like to make a substitute motion to table this to January, Commissioner Cupid. We have a substitute motion. Is there a second? Second. There's a second by Commissioner Burrell. We'll call the question as to the substitute motion taking precedent over the initial. There's, I have some communication on that. Um, yes, When there's a motion, then is it not an opportunity to have communication before there's a possible vote? Absolutely. My apologies. Please oh, move okay. forward. I just want to share that... Um, we have commissioners here who are agreeing on their appointments for the South Cobb Redevelopment Authority, but are not agreeing on the South Cobb's commissioner's appointment to the authority and cannot use their own reasoning for their own action in the prior agenda item. Okay. Okay. Commissioner Burrell. Um, when the uh, service districts and the bonds first started um, Doug Stoner and Ed Richardson took it upon themselves to come and talk to me and I'm assuming most of the other commissioners um, and have updated me and talked to me um, from day one on, on the service districts on the bond information and on Magnolia Crossing and um, everything going on in the South Cobb Redevelopment Authority. When, um, when the county staff, Dana Johnson and his team, um, looked at the whole county uh, two or three years ago, came up with 38 sites throughout the county that were in disrepair, need of redevelopment. Um, I had 17 in District 3 of the 38. 13 of those were on Canton Road. I have no CID on Canton Road. I have no um, redevelopment authority. So I looked at the business owners and the people in that community um, representative of Canton Road corridor area and formed a committee myself, about eight people from that community to help us market these sites and bring them back to life and redevelop, revitalize the area. Um, they have since formed their own uh, nonprofit. They're, they're, they have the nonprofit status now. So they're pretty much an independent board, which in my mind, the, the redevelopment authority, South Cobb, is independent of of us as well. Um, the first three that we just voted on, the first um, agenda item, my understanding is that um, there was one appointment that was a recommendation from Commissioner Cupid and the other two were recommended from the authority. And we have known about that um, 
and, and, and uh, went through and emails and like I said um, two of the members from the Development Authority board have um, spoken to me on many 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 occasions to update us and um, keep us abreast of what was going on so th those are my reasons for um, approving the first three I just want excuse me if I may for sure yes um, I just want you to be as mindful when you do things on Canton Road for me to come in and for me to assert that I have more knowledge about who should be serving on that than you I think that you would have some question with respect to that um, Commissioner Burrell but these were presented. I'm continuing wait, 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 to speak wait, wait, wait. and I did not interrupt you um, Commissioner Burrell um, there were other um, agenda there were other there were other there were other persons who were going to be um, suggested for this particular position and as I shared prior was shared that there was a deadline and other persons who were in communications with respect to serving on the board um, were not proffered by that deadline so I was very surprised to see these additional requests make it to the agenda after the deadline um, which is another issue um, I, again I just I don't understand how this board relates to the board that you have in Canton Road as far as it being independent from the South Cobb Redevelopment Authority. When you look at the governing documents for the South Cobb Redevelopment Authority, it is not completely independent from this board. Where that occurred in your district, Commissioner Burrell, this board has appointment, I mean, that was, the people that were appointed to that were done under your discretion. For this particular board, there are four BOC appointments, and it's a, it is a collaborative um, effort with this board and um, the legislature. And the legislature, so I, I, I just don't see similar similarity with respect to that point. This is um, beyond arguing because, again, the wishes of the board were made known, and I'm just making it public so that the public is very much aware that when we continue to see decisions made that run counter to the concerns of the Six Flags area, you will know that it was done by three commissioners that do not live or have a vested stake in the South Cobb um, area. Any other comments? Call the question. We're voting on the table. That we're voting on the substitute motion to table the, the issue to January. No, we didn't vote on it, and that passes four to one. And I believe that concludes that matter, Councillor. Thank you.